I'm gonna try to explain this very quietly. So, from what I understand, if I'm not making noise, he doesn't know where I am. But when I do make noise, he knows exactly where I am. Oh my god. Hey guys, Nate here, and welcome to Stifled, the full release. A long time ago, I played the demo of this game, and I loved it. And way back then, if I remember correctly, I said, I would really like to play the full game, the full version of this game. So Stifled is a game where the monsters can hear what I say. Now, the microphone, which is right here, I don't think you can see it, but it's right here. They can hear what I'm saying. So as soon as I enter the game, I have to be very careful about what I say, because the monsters are going to be listening for any audio cues as to where I am. But without further ado, guys, let's jump right into Stifled. If you enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and dingle that bell for more awesome videos like this one. What the heck? Hello? Why is everything so hazy? What the heck? Is there a fire in my apartment? Move the mouse to look around. Hello? Alright. So anything that makes a sound basically allows me to see better. Maybe I'm very- maybe I'm like terminally nearsighted and I can only see a certain distance and after that everything gets real fuzzy and I can't see what's going on. Baby care. How to create a nursery for your infant child. Milk. From real- I mean that's- Okay. Alright. I'm not gonna judge anything. Hello? Wife? <laughs> what the hell? And turn that off. So no one's actually showering in here. Ooh, am I naked? Again, I have no feet. In most games, you don't have feet. You just kind of hover above the ground. Hold and release space to make a larger sound pulse. That song. Ooh. So he, ca I can make the character speak. Hello? Oh, somebody- Hello, darling! It is I! Your nearsighted boyfriend, husband, man. What the hell? Maybe I'm just a bat. Hmm. This is pretty cool. Oh! Timmy threw his ball. Hello, Timmy! Don't be throwing balls around the apartment. You know what happened last time? Came over and beat you. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I don't I don't know any possible code. So I'm gonna have to look around. Maybe there's maybe there's like a code somewhere around here that I can open up the safe. Oh. Oh, here it is. Four, seven, seven, eight. Let's try that. Those books are the ones that are sticking out. So let's try four, seven, seven. Eight. Is that not the code? I'm gonna open up all the cupboards and I swear to you I'm going to find this code because I need my dollar bills. Those that has to be 100% has to be the code, but I don't know why it's not opening. So we're gonna try to resolve that later on. I will be back safety box with the code. Oh, is that my child? Ah! Sorry, just trying to wake up my child. Hello, baby. <laughs> What do you think we should name her? <laughs> Hold your horses, we don't even know each other. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is... This is a baby. Doll. Not a baby. Just a doll. Oh god, I thought that was blood. I almost pooped. All right, well, I'm gonna go downstairs and see what the heck is going on with my wife, Rooney. I'm coming, darling. You keep playing that song. Is the stove on fire? Hello? Hello? Where? Hello? Hello? 
What the heck? Uh, honey! I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, can I get this? This is making me a little bit anxious that we've got... Just got this, like, stuff frying on the stove here, and no, there's nobody attending to it. Honey! You in the cupboards? Where'd my wife go? I'm still very worried at the fact that that thing is completely unattended. Oh, God. Hello? Yeah, I'm coming. Hello? Not there? Where are you, Missy? Don't you go missing on me as soon as you get married, you hear me? Better call me back at once, yeah? Love you loads. See you soon. <laughs> soon! Okay. So we're a newlywed couple. Ooh, oh, what's in my purse? My wife is a purse. Okay, well, I can't escape my own house. Damn it! I already got married and I've already been locked inside of my house. She doesn't trust me. She thinks I'm sleeping with the next door neighbor, Suzanne. Little does she know. We aren't. <laughs> Hello? Baby doll? Honey, <laughs> <laughs> come on, we're gonna be late for the party. Shh, it's just the neighbors are next door. Holy, I predicted that. That is one very odd prediction. Lead, lead chopper. Let's get some of those tunes going. Ooh, we can escape outside. See you later, honey. I'm off to see Suzanne. Oh, hey, what's going on? Don't, hello. Why does everything get all hazy? Are you drugging me? Holy, what is that? That is an interesting painting. Honey, I need to talk to you about your drug use. Or my drug use, I'm not really sure. Both of us seem a little bit odd right now. This game seems peaceful, but I know it's not. I know it's gonna turn into something very different. And I'm just kind of, okay, shut, shut up, shut, shut up, shut up, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, I got you, what the heck is up? What the heck? House 1973 achievement. So that was our house in 1973, and I guess we're going to teleport to the present day. Are we going to come to the present day? Uh-oh. Ooh. I think this is where the demo left off. I believe this is where we were left off. Hello? Ooh. Rose, read. Dear Rose and Dave, how have you two been? It's been a very long time since we've last heard from you and we're getting a bit worried. Please do contact us whenever either of you have the time. We have some great news to share. We've had Jane and her husband over on the weekends and apparently she's expecting. It's... Well, you know, <laughs> you know what they say about people who are expecting. They've been doing the dirty. It's been a while since I've last seen your dad so excited. He was, he was positively bawling his eyes out for at least an hour. Don't tell him I've told you that. I'll need some getting used to thinking of Jane as a mother. It was just like yesterday where she was still hiding behind your skirts whenever a stranger was around. Anyway, your dad and I are thinking about going over during the winter, and we're wondering if you guys will be okay with that. His knees have been bothering him, and I was thinking the weather, warmer weather there would do him a world of good. Looking forward to spending some quality time with you two. Love you loads. Give your... Love to Dave as well. P.S. Really contact us ASAP. Love mom and dad. Okay, cool. Well, sorry to say, but things aren't looking too good. Dear mom, I'm fine here. I've just been quite busy lately and weren't able to write as much as I would have liked to. Happy to... Great to hear about Jane. Really happy for her. As for the visit, it might not be possible as there are some... Prop Dave is... We're busy. Oh... That's odd. Hello? Oh. Oh. Ooh, and this is where Stifled begins. Boo! <laughs> All 
All right, so pretty much we're gonna have to find our way through this. Okay, I got you. Oh God, you freaking birds. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, the rock. I remember you could take this, just chuck it and make a little bit of noise. This is so cool. I'm honestly very excited to see what the developers have added to this game. But from here on out, I think I'm going to have to keep the commentary very, very quiet in order to avoid dying. So let's just enjoy the rest of this game together. Oh god. I'm going to walk along the edge here because I'm not sure what lies ahead. Satan? Oh my god. Why are my feet making so much freaking noise? Okay, all right, we're fine. We're fine. Holy everything makes noise. I mean Poop poop. Oh god, what the fuck? Poop Poop I don't know why that's my word of choice, but that's what I'm going with and I hope you don't mind I'm gonna have to be very very quiet from now on Things are gonna be a little bit different this game started off very, very peaceful and exciting and nice. 1973, the life of peace and quiet. And now it's danger and quiet. I'm going to give one big scream and hopefully nothing comes at me. Ah! Okay, so far we're good. We're fine. Everything is A-OK. -okay. What the heck is that slapping noise? All right, let's see what happens if I give a big noise. Anybody? Bro, that is not how loud you're supposed to talk. I did a little bit of extra calibrating on the microphone so that basic... What in the freaking heck was that? Suzanne? Suzanne? You want some... Fun? Oh god. There's a shoe here. Ooh, maybe we need to keep this magical shoe on us because we never know. Or maybe I could wear it because my little feet are slippity slapping around and it kind of sounds a little bit gross. If I make random noises, please don't be alarmed. I'm perfectly fine. I'm just trying to uh, create my own pulse. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello. 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 Monster? What the fuck is that? What is that? way that it responds when I scream. <laughs> Holy, okay, I think I lost it. 
Oh my god, I almost lost it there where I was like yelling and it was responding to me. <laughs> I love that. See you later, sucker, I'm out. Out of here. Now I don't really like walking along this narrow beam. Oh, a shoe. Oh god! Oh my Hello? Mr. Monster Man? I need to remain completely quiet right now be er, as- <gasps> Was that a hu- Is that like a baby thing? This is very bad. This is very bad. Is that a baby? Oh my god! What the hell are you doing? I'm gonna try to explain this very quietly. So, from what I understand, if I'm not making noise, he doesn't know where I am. But when I do make noise, he knows exactly where I am. Oh my god. This is bad. Okay. I think I need another rock. Okay, so I think I made it past the first part. I'm not too sure though. I think I need to have something in my hand for if he comes after me, if giant baby boy comes after me, I need to have something in my hand to throw away so that he gets diverted away from me. But this game is super, super immersive in that what I r realistically do, like in real life, impacts what happens in the game. So it's a little bit, it's a, a little bit more intense than other horror games where, you know, it doesn't feel as immersive. And this game is actually in VR, it's in virtual reality. So you could really get some spooks going on with that. Hello? Mr. Baby Boy, what are you? Spooky Big Boy? Spooky Big Boy. Okay. Oh god, that's making way. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. Can I crawl under it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, how does that make you feel, big boy? I'm right on the other side of here. What's up, dude? What's up? You can't do nothing about it. Nothing about it. See you later. You're stuck on that side. Get wrecked. He's gonna teleport right through that gate and kill me. <laughs> Alright. Now, if I'm not mistaken, maybe we are getting back to where we were before. Ooh. 
very loud. Ooh, a shoe! Perfect. The perfect weapon. What the heck is this? That's a lot of pipes. I'm pretty sure that's the way that I came from before. Okay. Wow, holy... Okay, okay, I get it! So many noises. Hello? I'm gonna carry this can... Oh, what the hell? I'm pretty sure there's something... is going to make a lot of noise. <laughs> Holy. This game is so intense, dudes. Boo. Boo. Noise. Loud noises. Ooh, the exit. Orphanage? What the heck? Hello? I can't see anything either. What is this? Our orphanage's mission is to provide a safe and loving environment for the children and communities of our faith and culture. We blah 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 Adopt. Bring them the joy of the family. What? Is that baby, was he put up for adoption? And now he's coming out for revenge? What the heck is going on? Okay, well that was pretty intense. There were a couple moments where I almost shiznitzed my pants. But we're back home. Perfect. I'm back, honey. Okay, this is not, this is not my home. This is the orphanage. Jerry, dear mommy and daddy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Oh. That's not cute anymore. I'm gonna... Alright, Jerry, you just... You just stay over there. Turn that off. I think Jerry might have a couple of problems. A little bit of psychological problems. So am I, like, the director of an orphanage? Is that what this is? Okay, so we've got here... A... Grove Hospital, victim of brutal murder case, found next to dead parents staring blankly and non-responsive to first responders. Not responsive to any external stimulus when first admitted, multiple child psychiatrists declined testing him after a few sessions. Started talking again last month, has totally no memory of the murder. Okay. I guess that's Jerry. That's our good buddy Jerry there. Jerry! Oh god, this does not look good. I know how this goes. Something's gonna... What the heck? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have turned this thing. Jerry? Spirit of Jerry? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Oh shit. Hello? Can I, can I 
take this candle with me? I guess not. Why did I turn that box? Can I turn the TV back on? Nope. Okay. So we're just going to have to head into one of these dark rooms. Not home. Alright, so it seems like Jerry really does not like this place. Okay, if you can't open the fuse box there. Jerry? Oh my... Ah, what's that? Huh? None of that. I'm turning this handle, and you're gonna stay away from me, you scumbag Jerry boy. What am I doing? Okay, I'm revealing a secret passage. Okay, perfect. This is exactly where I should be going. Okay. 